Hi, I've noticed that since I've gotten into working with video, I've started to see things with a different eye. For example, I was watching TV the other night and this commercial came on and it had a text effect where it looked like it was swinging down. And so I decided, hmm, I wonder if I could replicate that. So I decided to play around in HitFilm and I did. And so I turned it into a tutorial. I'm Mike and I'll show you how. While this isn't a particularly difficult effect to create, I'm doing this to give you a good idea of what happens when you're working with 3D layers. So let's go ahead and start a new project, as we always do. And let's then create a new composite shot. We only need it for about 10 seconds, so let's set that and keep everything else at the defaults. Click OK. Now it's time to create our background, so a new plane layer, we'll call it BG for background. Again, click OK, leave everything else as is. Now the next thing we want to do is to create the text layer. So let us do that, new layer and then text. And we'll set the width to match the width of the screen. So 1920 will work here. And let's make the height about 500. I like using the full screen width to make things easier to center. Click OK, select the text tool and start typing. Now, one thing that's going to be very, very helpful, try not to type white text on a white background. That's not going to work too well. So let's fix that. Select A, go to the text settings, center it first. And then let's change it to a color we can actually see. That's always very helpful. Now we want to change the font and the font size. We want to have something big to have the illusion of weight to it. So one font that I like to use here, and it's a free font, is called Fundamental Brigade Schwer. So let's get down to that one. And you see it's quite quite a bit thicker. Now let's bump up the size to oh about 180 pixels. And now you see it takes up the screen. You have some thickness, you have some weight to it. Now let's go back to the selection tool. One very important thing to do in this effect is that since we're moving the text on a hinge, we want to move the anchor point to the top of the text, to line up to the top of the text, because that's where the hinge is going to be, right about there. The next thing we want to do, and you won't be able to make this effect work without it, is turn this into a 3D layer. So click that and 3D plane. You might get a pop-up asking if you want to create a camera. If you need it, click yes. Now you see some guidelines across the screen. For this, we're not going to need that. So let's click Options and get rid of Floor Plane. The next thing we want to do is have our motion effect. So let's move to about one second in. And we'll set a keyframe on the X rotation. But first, let's set that rotation so that it is at the top of the swing. So go here until you don't see the text. 90 degrees and set the keyframe. Now we want to go back and forth with it. So let's move forward about 25 and then we'll set wing it back the other way. So maybe about minus 75 or so. Good. And we gradually go less and less back and forth. So let's go here about six, right around 60. And as you notice, the distance and the time between keyframes gets smaller, much like you would do when you see a swing. So let's go here, about 30. 
And you can always adjust these later on. So about minus 15. And then getting towards the end of it here. 10 minus 5 and finally 0. So let's take a look at our effect. So now you see the effect itself works. However, it doesn't look very natural. You ever notice when you see a swing, it tends to hang up at the top of the arc. And that's not happening here. Let's go back over here and want to show you what it's looking like in the 3D space. So let's click this arrow in the top left corner and select either left or right to get a better view of what's going on here. And right now you see that this blue line is our text and it's at the 90 degree angle waiting for it to come down here. So let's start and we see what happens. So that's obviously not what we want to do. So let, let's go ahead and fix that. Let's get back to the active camera. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to highlight all of the keyframes and set them to manual Bezier. Now you see that the diamonds have changed to circles. That's the first step. Let's zoom the timeline a little bit in here so we can get a better idea here. Next thing we want to do is make some manual adjustments. So we will click on the value graph and now you see the representation of what's happening. So what you want to do, you see these handles here. What you want to do is drag them to extend them almost to the edge of the previous or next one. So let's keep doing that. And it's just a few steps here. It's a little bit of grunt work, but it's kind of necessary to make everything work. So there, 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 and then the last couple little bits, not so critical, but you want to do the complete job. There. So now let's turn off the value graph, go back to where we were, and let's see what the effect looks like now. Now that's looking a lot more natural. You can go ahead to either left or right. We'll go with left again. And now you see our blue line where it's in the start position. Let's click it. And now you see it hang a little bit at the top of the arc, which is what we want. And that's how you make some swinging text. Hope you like this demo. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks again for watching.